Hello, welcome to a very sunny August at Volvo Rama. This is the famous Torslander which has an alternator failure, or strictly speaking, a failure of the brushes. They didn't wear out, one of them broke in half and fell out. It uh, changed the whole alternator, then realised afterwards I could have just changed the brushes. But anyway, it's back in operation and I've got a spare alternator, which is very nice. There is, however, a misfire which at 200,000 miles is beginning to get annoying because I keep getting the warning light coming on, it misfires and gets slightly unhappy. So I haven't quite figured out what that is yet, but I will. Right, very, very bright here. Hope the camera can manage it. We're all managing. Okay, the 144 is great now. Found out what the heck was wrong with it. It was the choke in this SUHIF. The ceiling rings had gone and it was effectively running on choke all the time. It's now a very happy engine. It runs correct temperatures, runs smoothly, doesn't soot up, doesn't use excessive petrol. And guess who's still here? Keeping us all company. Yes, hello Dumbles. He's been, he's here all the time. He's definitely decided to uh, adopt me, which is grand. I haven't really got a shortage of cats. Yes, you're a very scruffy cat, Dumbles. Anyway, that's good. Um, right, 122S is running great. Fix the slow puncture. Light's good. Everything going on well inside. Uh, did finally get the sound system done. Yay! We now have speakers attached in proper bits of plywood and they sound vastly better than they did before so that's where we are so far with this beast All right other things that are going on of course amazon related yes we are working on parts for jones this is going to be jones's spare, uh, spare wheel well and a good portion of the boot floor All right now incorporated the uh, Right, the quarter panel as well, so that's all just um, Clico pinned together and uh, I know somebody with a spot welder and I'm going to pop that down and we're going to spot weld the whole shebang together and then it can go in the car, so there it is, all sorted, had to make an extra bit of floor here because that was bad and furthermore, on this panel, you have to straighten out uh, that bit of the supplied panel to make it fit the body of the car. But uh, I must admit, it's a good panel. It does fit extremely well. No real issues with that. Right, other thing we've been playing with is this Amazon four-door slash estate front door. Have now fitted in the new bottom. There it is. All welded across and again same uh, spot welding help we'll just spot weld this seam together and then the whole thing is is done it's a solid door and it's all sorted happily right elsewhere all is good so just extremely extremely sunny moog continues to do well hello moog and uh right we're hitting various other things with Jones, I've just been rather lazy and doing not a lot, but uh, getting around to it now. Right, this is the stuff inside the boot of Jones. Had to sort out that bit between the arch and the boot floor, and tricky job doing this bit of chassis. That had to be extended, if you look from underneath. That comes down in that peculiar shape. That's what it's supposed to look like. And that goes underneath the spare wheel well. But it's all done. Um, got that bit there, which was missing. I'll wait until I put the new spare wheel in, the wheel well in, and then match up all the rest of this stuff with it. Uh, and an arch is going on this side. Um, most of an arch. I won't do the whole thing, but most of an arch is going on. Right, today's wonderful fun and last few days has been sorting out this side of the boot floor, which is simpler, no spare wheel well, and it needs part of that inner wing doing, as well as a small piece of outer, well, sorry, inner wing, inner, inner wheel arch, and a bit of um, outer wheel arch as well. Now, I've been playing around with that. I do own a complete 
rear wheel arch repair. Right, but I'm rather, as it costs 100 quid, and I'm only going to use about a fifth of it. It seemed a bit silly, so I've been tapping away with various hammers, and I've made a replacement for it. Right, this, uh, the discerning will spot, this is actually a four-door repair panel, but uh, I don't need the front bit of the arch, it's good, I don't need the middle part either. It's only this last section which is poor, and if I just uh, undo my clamps, here they are. Hey, right, and have this one. Right, there you go. Right, that's the extent to which the arch needs to be sorted. Oh, we're getting glare off that uh, off that lamp. Shift it. There we go. All right, yeah. So that's where we're going, and the uh, idea is, I've made that up, it's all bent round, does all the right curves and everything, it's all good. Right, and uh, the idea is that I've managed to cut away outer arch, I've managed to cut away outer arch, cut away inner arch at different points, so I can fix new inner arch to old inner arch, and then when I've got, when I'm happy with that, I can then weld new section of outer arch repair which I'll be cutting off somewhere round about here and should all work out nicely the these things I know you can get a panel to do all of this and I've got them but it seems an awful lot of work as I've only really got some issues with the very 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 bottom bit of it this very bottom bit which I'm hoping I'll be able to again make up a little bit of bent metal and fix that all up so there we go. It's arches all over the place. But we're getting there. Oh, there's one other item that we had to do. Although it's not readily visible. Right. Right, we actually did some work on the shiny car. The uh, American 122S. Because I've been, it's been niggling at me for ages because these headlights um, this is original 1966 wings, original 1966 headlamp bowls, and original 66 front panel. But there were quite a few broken off screws, and even some broken off uh, wood screws, would you believe, holding the bowls on. And I've always been thinking that's not sealed, it's going to let water through, it's nasty, they're not held in properly. So I finally got around to taking them all apart, and I used to drill out all the busted bits, uh, with a, a wonderful, wonderful, powerful battery drill. And uh, those are all now back in, properly sealed, properly de-rusted, and it's all spot on original and good. So there we go. I'll stop this now at eight and a bit minutes, and we'll say that's it for uh, Volvo Rama for now. Good. Day.